What's up guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're checking out the UEFI BIOS from Gigabyte. This is on all of their Z87 motherboards and it is quite a change if you're used to the older um, BIOSes from Gigabyte. As you can see here, we have a full screen display. So you have a lot of stuff going on over here. And just like all UEFI BIOSes, you can move your mouse around and use your keyboard as well. So we're gonna go over some of the things that are in this BIOS. First, on this side, it will give you all of your information on your CPU. So your frequency, your core ratio, your V-core voltage, your VRIN voltage, all of your voltages, uh, temperature, and CPU fan, all of that stuff. Your memory status over here, so you're gonna have your memory speed um, and voltages as well as timings. Now if we go up top here, we have our V-Core voltage in real time as well as our fan speed and temperature all in real time. So it's kind of like showing graphs right here, which is actually really cool. On this side, we have our system status, which has all of your voltages, temperatures, and fan speeds, again, all in real time right here. Now we have this main screen right here, and this is where you're gonna have a lot of your settings. So this is a performance setting. You have a standard one right here um, that has some different options. And then you can set um, up to four of these. So if you have certain settings you wanna put in here, you can go ahead and it, you know, it says select your own options. You can go ahead and put your different options in here. So all your performance settings are right here now. If you don't want to do that and you just want to go into the main settings here, we can click on performance up here and you can see we have all of the different things for, you know, your CPU frequency, all of that stuff, your memory, voltage, PC health status, and there's different things in miscellaneous as well. So all the information and all of the different settings that you want are right in here. Of course, you have your system information tab. You can set all of that stuff right here your BIOS features, peripherals, and you know you have all of the different SATA configurations and all of that, just like you would in a normal BIOS, but again, it's really easy to navigate as you can see here I'm doing with the mouse. Um, power management and of course, save and exit. We go back home here. Um, and one thing I didn't mention down here is we do have all of the information on the actual BIOS, uh, the motherboard name, BIOS version, which is of course is important if you're upgrading, um, you wanna know what BIOS that you have, and the information on your CPU right here and your memory size. Now you can also um, set up your boot sequence right here. We only have one drive installed, but you could just set them up easily right in here. And you can also, so this is, this is kinda new for a lot of people and it may be hard to find the different uh, settings. You know, this is, this is new to us, this is new to me, um, so the first time I went into this BIOS, it was kind of hard to find certain things, but after I got used to it, it's really easy. But if you just want to go back to the old type of BIOS, all you have to do is click on Classic Setup, and we're back into the old BIOS. It is really that easy. Um, and you click Dashboard, and I believe that, yeah, that takes you right back to this BIOS. So you can see just how easy it is, a huge upgrade over the previous BIOS. So if you have any questions about this BIOS or anything like that, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.